You have five children? Yes. How old are they? Well, the oldest one is 17. The youngest is eight. Wow. So, how you manage to send them to school? No, basically only two of them is with me. Mm -hmm. One is going to Homewood Technical right now, and another one is going to Mandeville Craft Institution. They're all doing good? Yes. The only problem I have though, mm -hmm. at times things can be a little bit hard. Uh, differently, they're getting there. How do you get through the hard times? Well, I raise chicken for chicken and pigs for a living. Yes? yes. So you have no chicken around here, sir? Yes, I have a uh, hundred chicken at the current moment. Where? In the back? Yes, in the coop. You have to go show my man. <laughs> so then when we not buy chicken, you, you sell chicken today? No, I don't have any ready one at this moment. Are they all organic? You know, you know, boost them up with nothing? No, just water and feed. No boosting of the feeding? No. Okay, because I know people boost them chicken around. Well, basically, I eat my chicken, so. So you don't really want nothing for pies in you? No. So you, pigs, how many pigs do you have? At this moment, I have two. Mm -hmm. Yes. A big one and a little one. So it's you'd good. love to expand your business, right? Very much. Wow, so how long you've been growing chicken and things? How long you've been there? Uh... Well, I've been doing the chicken for a little over a year now. Mm -hmm. It's up and it's down, but... You like that business? Very much. Why is that? Well, for one, I'm a single parent. Yeah. Single? Yes. And I'm five, you would just say? You only yes. are... No, but only, like I said, only two of them. Only two of them. Me. Yeah, yeah. So... So what I do what, why so much Jamaican people single, women single? <laughs> Repeat that. Why so many Jamaican women single? Maybe because we are making some of the wrong decisions when it comes to men. Okay. Because the decisions start with you. Yes. I'm glad to see a woman said that, you know. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a woman who said, no, the man they more close. Well, at times I could say that, you know, because... I don't meet a father that is stand up. Mm -hmm. No. But, like I said, on one hand, being a single parent is not easy. Children to go to school, children to feed, children to clothes, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And when I think about going out and do like domestic work. Yeah, yeah. All right. When I'm out there doing that kind of job, who is here taking care of my children? Yeah, yeah. Nobody. So they, basically there would be Say I would left them by themselves then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, when I look at it, doing the chicken, mm -hmm. I can spend time with them. Mm -hmm. I can see their everyday move, you know. Worse, you have girl pitney. Mm -hmm. They come to a certain age. Mm -hmm. And what age are they again? Well, my oldest daughter is 17. Uh oh. That's yeah. the age. Yes, and so that's you have the to be age around. I was when I have her. Oh, when you had her, yes. you definitely have to be around. Yes. So you you are around. So the chicken farming help you for the chicken rearing help you for. Yes. To send them to school. Well, basically, my uh, my older daughter she gets a little help from her grandmother. Mhm. Mm She's overseas, so. Okay. She helped her, but the little one now, I had to do everything, both mommy, daddy, everybody. Yeah. For her. Wow. How old are you, if you don't mind if I ask? Well, right at this current moment, I'm only 34 years old. Mm -hmm. So your career, you didn't finish school or? No. Never get to. Any intention to take any courses? I have it in mind, but not at this current moment, because when I started to go to school, who's going to take care of the children? True, true, true. So I have to think about in the girls of school and then so you born and grew up in Norway mm, I could say that Miss Virgie Palmer only is my grandmother mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, I could say I born you, and grew up here do you love it around here yes what are some of the reasons why you love it here okay for one Norway is a place like this 
When I when I am here, I'm a very friendly person. Yeah. Like I see, I don't have a little grung or so. Some guys pass I could see. Can I have a piece of yam? Yes. I get a few banana at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now where I find it <laughs> just home. Home. Yeah. Very home and kind. Yes. Kind people. And what are some of the things you don't like about it? Some people they stick their nose in the wrong places. Oh, they stick the, you know sticking your nose in the wrong place is a wrong thing, you know. I know. <laughs> okay, the drama, yeah. the gossip, yes. the inner people business all the mm -hmm. time. And that is something I don't like. You don't like that. You like to mind your business. Yeah. You have some panga nut here. Yeah. So when them grow up, they wanna pick them them beer. Wow. The kids, they mostly eat them. The kids, them? Yeah. These are beautiful. You know, I born now right over there, sir. My girl, this is my home. Here in Manchester? Yeah, this is where my born and grow. Yeah. When I was. This is the real life. So, is that your kitchen? No, that's. No, that down that side is my mother's. Okay. Yeah. Up where I am, this is where. This I is live. you. Yes. And the chicken are down there. Yes. Okay. So you buy it. How long the chicken take to grow? Um, six weeks, the latest. Six. The earliest. Six weeks. Yes. So your turnover is fast. Yeah. Pe people around here like your your product. What the chicken? Yeah. Yeah, you sell it. Sometimes we sell it some to some persons in the area. Sometimes we have to take it all the way to Mandara. And the people in the wholesale, they they like it. Yes. Okay. Do you pray for the chickens before you inoculate them? I always uh, do. Do you pray for chickens before you annihilate them? I always do. Do you name them? <laughs> no. You know, no. you have no personal attachment. No. <laughs> for the chicken, I don't get so close with the chicken because if I should get so attached to the chicken, then I wouldn't want to eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Like they have no eyes. <laughs> You get attached to the hog? Yes. You, you, you hog have a name? I just call it, I call the both of them Whitey. Whitey? Yes. So they're the one that produce other piglets? Yes. They, they're, they're pretty big. Yeah, one is bigger than the other one. Whitey. That one under the tree there, he is the father uh -huh. of this one over here. Okay. Did, did uh, you learn from your mother or who do you learn? How well, did... basically I grew up with my grandmother. Uh -huh. Is she... she died Sorry to hear that. 20 years ago. Yeah. I grew up with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Anybody in the States? Family? Mm. I would say yes or no. Mm -hmm. because... yes, if I said yes, I would be lying. Growing up, coming up, I didn't hear of any. Mm -hmm. No. But you love your Jamaica. Yes. My hope is to get up there one day. Or to abroad? Yeah. To work? Well, obviously, yes. I would have to go there to work. Right? Walk down here to see if I see these chicken. Come show me the oh, chicken. Yes, yes, Jamaica. This is Randy. Hanging out with the real farmers. Lovely cat you have here. What's the name of the cat? <laughs> well, he's not my cat, so therefore, I don't know if he has any. Yeah, he's a very wild cat. Oh, it's a wild cat. A lot yes. of wild cats around here. Yes. So this is Whitey? Yes. Whitey number one and Whitey number two. Whitey number one and Whitey number two. Yes. And uh, what time do they get feeding? This morning. Nine. Yeah. I remember this smell because I grew up in St. Mary and it was just this muddy with the pig them. We had a pig named Betsy, a big black one. Okay. Let's see this. Real Jamaican life. Okay. Whoa. Nice organic chicken. Yes, I you that. Yeah. So in another, you say, no, no, three weeks. Three so. weeks, then ready? Yeah. 
Beautiful life you have here. Give us your name again. My name is Nadine. Nadine. Wow, based on all the calls I got from persons overseas who watched the video, a big thumbs up. Jamaica, good life, did you good? Yes. So what is the plan? This is your new chicken pen? Yes. So this is the beginning of your business? Yeah. And someone donated money for you to get the blocks? Yes. And the cement? Mm -hmm. How many chickens can fit in? Well, basically this can hold at least 400 because what I plan to do is cut it. When I go up there, I part it so you can have both top oh, and bottom. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'm proud of you. I know the whole world. I want you to go in here. Oh. I know the whole world is proud of you, Nadine. Indeed. Friends and family, this is the lady that washed my clothes. And now... Jamaica Good Life is making it possible yeah. to help her with her business. So, so Nadine, yes. how much more you need? What do you need? Well, basically, I need some zinc. I need some mesh to go around with it. Okay. And you just see, I have them all there, so I'm going to need some more cement to put in the bottom. Okay. Yes. And you're going to need the chicken. Yes. And you're going to need a starter feeding. Yeah. All right, people, see? This is what Jamaica Good Life does. It helps working mothers to expand their business. I love it, Nadine. I love it. It looks like a house, you know. I know. <laughs> Everybody see it. What it what is it? What is but it, is, it would be too small for a room. What do you peop the people think about um the progress? Like well, the people to that me to me it doesn't matter to me what people think because you know I get a lot of bad, a lot of negative things and some good, some bad, but you have to just work your way around it. Okay. You can't follow all of the negative things that people are going to say because in the end, you're not going to go further. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my aim is to go further. Good. So now, are you yeah. planning to brand your chicken Nadine's chicken with a special bag or something? Mm, maybe, maybe in the near future. But I don't know for now. <laughs> yeah, you have to think for We'll right see now. what happens later on, but well, maybe not for now. One step at a time. Yeah. I love it. So this is your father's land? Yes. So you could build a pig pen down there too? Yeah, man. I'm going to put it right over there. The pig pen over there? Yes. So for, for, your, for your supporters and fans, they could just keep supporting you. Yes. And you just, I'm going to come back to keep checking on your progress. Yeah. Wow. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we did that video because yeah. <laughs> some of the good positive energy you received, what, what, what was some of the comments like when... Uh, well, you have persons who would say thumbs up, so people would say continue to do what you're doing. But you have some person that is very mean. Yes. Just want to thank that lady who sent you some stuff for you? Yes, Miss. I don't want to call anybody's name still. First but name. But she know herself. Miss Brown? Yes. Yeah, that would be good. Miss Brown, a big thumbs up to you. Yeah. Miss Hippolyte. That's a strange name, but I got it. <laughs> Well, basically, I don't remember everybody's yeah, name, yeah. but a big thank you to everybody. everybody. This yes. is Jamaica Good Life. This is Nadine New Start, and I'm glad to be a part of it. It was an accident. You washed my clothes for peace and love. Yeah. <laughs> and look at what peace and love brought you. Yeah. You have a start. And fans, please continue to support Jamaica. This is what YouTube did. This is what you did. You know, some we a really respect it thing. Nadine, yeah. there's going to be more. Trust me. <laughs> it's going to be more. So you keep setting your hopes high, you know, because there are people out there that loves good people and yeah. love to support, you know what I'm saying? Well, they right now have a lot of good friends that we communicate on the phone. Yeah? The man, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Don't want to call anybody's name, but you guys you know yourself. Thumbs yeah. up. <laughs> So you feel, encouragement. You kind of you. you kind of feel like somebody's out in the world for you. Yeah. You feel like you're not alone anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> What's the name of the dog? Well, it's a dog, dog so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Listen, Nadine, I'm proud. Yeah. Alright, my move out. Yeah.